How's it going, aliens? My name's Alien. Today, I'm back on another Identity 5 video, and this video is of me trying out the newest hunter in the game, Dream Witch, in rank, and this is how it went. Let's get right into the video. Okay, first, I went to plug my Discord link. The link will be in the pinned comment below. Go click it and join the Discord server. We're now over 300 and like 10 members so go join the server today so this was like my third match with dream Witch. the other matches i tied um i was enjoying her a lot she's a really fun hunter to use in my opinion even though she is really complicated i do think she's a good hunter so to start off this was kind of a face palm moment I, that I don't really use her, so I didn't know that you couldn't mark the doll. So then I was like, okay, fine. I'll mark the mechanic and then destroy the doll with the mechs follower. But then when I look, it's out of range. So then I have to go to the doll. But then the follower follows me because it's out of range. So this wasted so much time at the beginning that like once I actually get used to her, this won't happen. I'm using Blink on her because I think, I personally think Blink's the best trait for her because Patroller just takes too long to activate. Plus it's super buggy. So I think Blink is the best thing to use. Uh, this is a small map, and this is, I think she's best on small maps, because on big maps I have lots of difficulties, but on small maps like hospital and church, I think she can be really good. So, from all the time I wasted trying to kill the bot, <laughs> a cypher already popped. Oh no, never mind. Three ciphers popped in the time I wasted trying to kill the bot. <laughs> so you basically want to mark the survivor on and put the follower on one side, on the opposite side of which way the um, spawn follower is. Because then that traps them in and they have to make a decision. And usually you can get a hit like that and then you can use blink to get the second hit. Should I have blinked right there? I messed up. But the mind's eye is nowhere to go. And now I have the mind's eye dead. Finally. After all this time. It didn't take that long to actually kill the mind's eye. But it took long to actually get to her. Mind's eye did get saved as I'm wasting time trying to hit this mechanic. I'm gonna keep a bot by the cipher so that they can't decode or if they do they'll get jump scared. But then I lose the follower. I'm like what the heck just happened? But it's because they took out the mark. And I didn't know what that meant. I didn't know why. My follower was gone, but that hurt me. Also, if you move the joystick up and then switch to a different follower or the Dream Witch herself, it makes the follower to continue moving forward even if you are not um, controlling her. So that's what you really want to do. It's one of the most fundamental but important things you have to know about dream witch so hit the doctor um this doctor is running spectator i i faced them so i know that they run spectator so their healing speed is insanely fast i kill the mech and now with the followers i'm really just trying to patrol the ciphers like this so this is i get a lucky doom shock right there 
I'm really just controlling these ciphers while I'm camping, which is one of her strongest points. And then the I would have hit the mercenary and and stuff to save, but he didn't even show up on my screen until he made the save, which sucks. So now I'm basically just trying to scare the mind's eye, because I she's two hits but as soon as I hit her she's gonna go down uh, as soon as I hit her my followers gonna loot be gone so she can actually decode but I'm just trying to scare her into not decoding until I have time but then <laughs> I get the luckiest doom shock in history hit them on balloons put merc uh Oh, hit the doctor. I mean, hit the mechanic down with the Merc on balloons and then put Mac back on the chair. She's dead now. But the reason why the Cypher Dam pop is because I got a Doom Shock on the Mind's Eye, which saved this entire game. Without that Doom Shock, I don't. Um, I'm not in this position right now. They would have popped the Cypher. I'm gonna pick up the Mind's Eye. And I really like their attack on balloons i really like it it's really accurate it's not maybe photo level but it's really good it's a really good attack on balloons which helps her out a lot especially in these situations see pick them up again you have no attack recovery down the mind's eye See, her attack on balloons is so good. I love it. I'm looking for a chair to put her in, but they, they're way too far away. So I'm not going to make it. They Then they popped the cypher. I actually ended up saving the game. I didn't even try to save the game. But by picking her up, when they popped the cypher, she didn't get borrowed time. Which also won me this game but I didn't even realize that that's that wasn't what my plan was I was just trying to find a chair but it ended up working out and I'm gonna miss a point blank hit her hitbox is so bad I swear it's so bad I see her running that way and I hit her down and now the whole team's down and I won. So Dreamwitch is very fun, very complicated. If I had to tell you her tier, I would say B tier right now, if not A tier. I think she's really good. She's a really good hunter, but it's gonna take lots of practice to use. If you wanna see more Dreamwitch videos or any top rank hunter, please subscribe to the channel. I'll be making more Dreamwitch videos. Maybe I'll even become a Dreamwitch main. And please like the video if you did enjoy.